Just a few months ago, Taishu Kun had luxurious brands fighting over him and trying to make him their ambassador. He had an incredibly big name in China, but his reputation has taken a considerable blow after some of his darkest secrets have been exposed to the public. If we want to talk about the disturbing allegations against Xu Kun, his popularity and influence need to be discussed first to emphasize the severity of his scandal. His interest in joining the entertainment industry began when he was still in elementary school. He was a few steps away from becoming a member of the group TF Boy, but his parents ultimately decided that he was too young to enter the entertainment world and that the prime focus should be Xu Kun's education. In 2017, Xu Kun debuted as a member of the boy group Swin, which was made up of the best contestants of the South Korean show Super Idol. Unfortunately, the group didn't do well at all despite their large and dedicated fan base thanks to the survival show, and after he terminated his contract with Swin's agency, he joined the reality survival show Idol Producer as an independent trainee at the end of 2017. Idol Producer is when Xu Kun's popularity truly picked up and his fan base quickly grew. He was a hot topic on the survival show and he received very high numbers of votes for each evaluation performance on the program. Xu Kun was considered an ace as he was very talented in singing, dancing, and rapping. In April 2018, he debuted as the leader of the temporary group 9%. Xu Kun's fan base kept getting larger and larger. His first single, I Wanna Get Love, topped various charts, staying on the number one spot for almost three weeks. And in May 2018, he was selected as one of the most influential celebrities in China. With his huge and dedicated fan base and strong influence, various luxurious brands became interested in working with him. Xu Kun became an ambassador for brands like L'Oreal Paris, Prada, Levi's, or Givenchy Beauty. He became known not only as a talented artist, but as someone who was kind and always tried to participate in good causes. This only made his fans appreciate him even more. Xu Kun donated to many organizations and charities, be it a rehabilitation facility for autistic children, children, or an event to raise funds to build different facilities for students in rural areas. Because of this, many of his fans decided to follow his doing and donate to many of these charities and organizations as well. This included donations for purchasing school supplies for those in need and building new roads in rural villages. At the end of 2018, the total of donations made by individual fans and fan clubs was around 3 million yuan, which translates to more than $418,000. Zukun's relationship with his fans and his career in the entertainment industry seemed perfect but there were definitely some issues. While none of them are nearly as serious as what's been happening in the summer of 2023, they were a big deal at the time. In 2017, Xu Kun got into a public legal battle with his then company, Shanghai Yihai Entertainment. He accused his former agency of poor treatment and demanded his contract be terminated. Allegedly, the company was struggling a lot with their finances at the time, and members of Swin had to pay for all of their expenses. It's alleged that the company never paid them back. Additionally, Swin members were de facto forced into signing an amendment to their original contract, which decreased the share of their pay and extended the length of their contracts. The company tried to paint Xu Kun as the bad guy, filing a case in 2018 for breach of contract, demanding him to pay the agency 1.1 million yuan for damages and compensation. They asked for Xu Kun to continue with the terms of their contract and came up with a compromise by allowing Xu Kun 70% of the income he earned from dramas, endorsements, and variety shows. The legal battle came to an end in 2019 when the court ruled in Xu Kun's favor, freeing him from the company. Cases in which the company is exposed for not paying their artists always make headlines, and the legal dispute came when his career was seriously starting to take off. Xiu Kun was able to overcome his rough patch with the support of his fans, but the same thing can't be said of what's happening now, as he's losing fans by the second. At the end of June of 2023, Xu Kun found himself involved in some serious allegations. It started when a blog post accused Xu Kun of having inappropriate relations with a woman nicknamed by the media as Miss C. These claims were quickly confirmed by a famous celebrity photographer Zhang Xiaoyan. Allegedly, Xu Kun and Miss Si met in May of 2021 at Beijing KTV and were introduced to one another by a mutual friend. Things started to escalate after that. It's rumored that Si had fallen pregnant with him but was forced to medically terminate her pregnancy after he found out. Xu Kun's mother also became involved in the scandal as she allegedly suspected Si of trying to blackmail her son with a pregnancy. A strange audio was leaked online in which a woman, who Zhang Xiaoyan claims to be Xu Kun's mother, says, I don't think she will agree to end the pregnancy so quickly quickly. Go withdraw some cash, about 100,000 to 200,000 yuan. There's no need to give so much at once. According to Jiang, Xu Kun's mother even went as far as hiring a private investigator to spy on Si, which was later confirmed by Si herself. She also illegally installed a pinhole camera on her apartment door so that she could spy on Si. When Xu Kun's mother saw a man entering and leaving Si's apartment, she concluded that Si had to be pregnant with another man and that she was truly trying to blackmail her son. It was soon revealed that the man was the boyfriend of one of Si's friends. It 
took Si two years to open up about the distress Shu Kun and his mother caused her. She supported her claims with a lot of evidence, like an ultrasound picture of the baby, documents from the hospital, WeChat conversations with Shu Kun's mother, as well as a few voice recordings. As if these allegations weren't enough, more rumors started to circulate which accused Shu Kun of dating a fan since she was 14 years old. A few Chinese bloggers claimed that they would expose Shu Kun's relationship with a woman from a wealthy family and that she was allegedly a huge fan of Shu Kun. According to Chinese fans, this lady comes from Fujian in China and started dating him in 2019 when she was just 14. There was barely any evidence supporting these claims, so not a lot of people took them seriously. Many of Shu Kun's fans were left in shock and impatiently waited for the singer to come out and address everything. It took him a few days to come up with a formal apology, but he finally released one on Weibo on July 3rd. Shu Kun clarified that even though he and Missy used to be in a relationship, it ended two years ago and all of their private issues between them had been resolved. He wrote, The relationship between C and I was consensual. There is no such thing as the woman is underage. It did not involve illegal activities. Xu Kun added that all of this has been a painful lesson for him and that he had spent the last two years living in guilt and regret. He apologized for the trouble that he caused and added that he would change his behavior. Xu Kun's apology became a hot topic of many discussions on social media. Some fans were disappointed that he took so long to release the apology and claimed that he should have released it sooner. Xu Kun's apology was supposed to settle the situation, but it sparked even more fire. This time, he was accused of having inappropriate relations with an underage girl while she was still under the influence of certain substances. It said that he was allegedly the one to give her the substances. An audio recording revealed a 17-year-old W had been a fan of him since she was 13 and that she started going out with him when she was 17. According to this girl, Shu Kun allegedly invited her to his place in February of this year. She claims that he gave her a cup of orange juice that made her incredibly dizzy after she drank it. She suspected that the drink was spiked with something and confirmed that she was a minor at the time. On Dolbam, people started to come up with theories that it was actually Shu Kun and his PR team who were releasing the scandalous information. People suspected that they want to create noise that downplays the seriousness of C's pregnancy. As shocking as it sounds, there might be a little bit of truth about Shu Kun's team being somehow involved in the scandal. On July 4th, a day after Shu Kun released his apology, he also released a picture of a police report he filed as proof that he would be taking legal action against those who spread fake pictures and rumors about him. However, as netizens analyzed the report, they found a lot of things that didn't add up. It said that the original post that started the pregnancy rumors was posted at 12.42, but Shu Kun's side filed the report at 1300 the same day. The location was strange as well, as Shu Kun's Weibo IP address showed that he was in Guangdong while the police report was filed in Shanghai. In Shanghai, the police's working hours are from 8.30 to 11 in the morning and from 13.30 to 1700 in the afternoon, which would mean that the report was submitted outside of the working hours. Chinese netizens suspected that either Shu Kun's side already knew what rumors would be published, or Shu Kun's police report wasn't published by himself, but by someone else. All the disturbing rumors and the details that don't line up started to affect Shu Kun's career immediately. Even before Shu Kun released his apology, he was already removed from the show's Keep Running and Youth With You 2, in which he was a host. On Dolban, there are zero works displayed when you search for Shu Kun's name. He's been withdrawn from the 2023 TMEA Tencent Entertainment Music Festival, but his concert at Marina Bay Sands in Singapore on the 15th of July still took place. There hasn't been any major unfolding of the case since then, so no one knows how the scandal will affect his future. What do you think about this case? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Bye!